Whitehead. There we go, guys. Oh yeah. Michonne. Alrighty guys. That was quick. He's a small one. He's small. Let's go ahead and release him. So today we're fishing on Gunnersville Lake. I'm gonna hit some different spots uh, on this stretch of the river. It's been about a year since I've fished Gunnersville and it's gonna be a nice day going to be around 80 degrees. The flatheads should be waking up. Uh, right now the water temperature is 60 degrees I think. Let me see. Yep 60.8. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the flatheads are starting to wake up. That is a targeted species today. So we'll see. Stay tuned. This one's a better fish. Pretty sure it's a blue. There he is. That's a more respectable fish. All right, we got him. Let's go ahead and lace him.
get this. Pretty sure this is a blue. Where are the flatheads? Pretty small one. We got some pretty fast current right in here. I don't think he's big. I think it's just the current that I'm having to battle. Yeah, he's small. I see him. There we go guys, I'd say he's 15, solid fish, let's go ahead and release him. Back to the depths. Feels pretty good. This one's pretty small too. It's a blue. A lot of blues today. Trying to target flatheads. It's not working in our favor, but action's been pretty good. Release them.
So this is my second anchor spot and uh, I've caught two fish at two spots. So maybe today will be a good anchor bite, but I'm hoping for a flathead. I mean, nothing against blues, but I catch them all the time and I don't catch nearly as much flatheads as I do blues. So I'm hoping that will change, but we'll see. Fish number five. He's small. Here we go. Solid fish. Oh yeah. Fish on. Now they found my baits. This one's about the same size as the other one. This is fish number six. You know, this one's another 10 plus pounder. Yep, another blue. Twelve pounds. There he is. Let's go ahead and release him. Oh. This is a small one. He was playing with that forever and ever. Fish number seven. So three fish from this spot. Just waiting for Big Papa. Actually, Big Mama, really. He's way out there. Yeah. 
This one hit a big chunk of skipjack. I mean big chunk. It's amazing how even like the five to 10 pounders will hit a chunk that's too big for their mouth and they'll still manage to get hooked. Yep, same size as the other ones, 10 pounds or so. Just like the other ones. Fish on. Oh. He was swimming with it. I think this is a flathead. I hope. That was a funny bite. So what I did is I moved closer into the bank. I don't know, this may be a blue now. He's rolling down there. Yeah, this may be a blue. Yep. It's a blue. He's chunky. be bigger than 15. 18 pounds. 18. That's not bad guys. Not bad. Eighteen pounder. Solid. Put them back in the water. See you, buddy. Guys, I thought I had my camera rolling, but I didn't. But we got a good fish on here. This is a pretty good one. Pretty sure it's a good one. Whitehead. There we go, guys. First flathead 
Well, actually, this is my second flathead of the year. Um, but my first flathead for this spring. Oh, that's awesome. They're such a good fish. I am so happy, guys. So happy. Hello, Mr. Flathead. They pull so hard. Gosh, he slammed that, too. I really wish you guys would have seen the takedown on camera, but I just didn't have my GoPro rolling. My apologies, but here's Mr. Flathead. This is the targeted species. Guys, first flathead for the spring, second flathead of the year, but look at that fish. This is why I love catching the flatheads because they're just so cool, they fight hard, they pull like a demon, and uh, I'm just so glad to finally get one. We've been having to really work today just to get... A flathead I mean we've caught several nice blues but this is a great flathead this just made my day let's go ahead and send them back home see you buddy thanks for the fight fish on I think this is fish number 10, guys. Here he is. Probably say 15, 16 pounds, something like that. Let's go ahead and release him. There she goes. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. Uh, not a bad day. Anchor bite, pretty good. All of them blues, but one flathead. And that was a targeted species. So it's a... Uh, just a tad bit early for them to start being active down here. I would think maybe another week or something they should start firing up. Biggest fish was like 18 pounds. A lot of great fish. And I'll definitely be back fishing this stretch again. I always love coming down and fishing on Gunnersville just because it's beautiful out here. You're away from traffic and it's just good fishing really. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. As always, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.